Hello friends. Today we will do the Cisco ISDN PRI configuration using S323 protocol on Cisco router and CUCM both. So let's start with the first part on the Cisco router. First define the card type and then T1 or E1 what type of PRI you are using. And then slot number. After that define the ISDN switch type. This command will set the switch type to match the type of switch your local ser service provider is using. Now allow your WIC card of PRI to participate by typing this command. Interface loop back zero. Now type the IP address of your source address, source IP address. Here I am using the loopback IP address which is 142.1.64.254 this command will set the source IP address to be used for the S323 gateway get out of this interface and then type control T1 Now this command will configure the ISDN PRI. Here router creates 4 ISDN voice ports that it will use for incoming and outgoing voice calls. If you do not specify the time slots, controller will configure for 23 bearer that is voice payload plus 1 D channel that is signaling channel. Now you can check your voice port summary whether they, they are configured or not. Here you can see all the four ports are up. So friends our PRI is configured. There is one more thing to do.
this isdn bchain number order command will make the outgoing channel selection in ascending order that is for t1 controller the channels will be select in the order from 1 to 24 and for e1 controller it will select from 1 to 31 and if we would have typed here descending in place of ascending then it will make the outgoing bearer channel selection in descending order so this is the difference by default it is the descending so we have to configure it for asc ascending order now we will do the configuration for dial pairs so let's start first we'll make the dial pair for the incoming calls this incoming call number dot command will accept any type of number Now make the dial pairs for the outgoing calls. target destination pattern mm -hmm. is four zero eight two zero two dot 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 now make the dial pair for the port target
Now let's do the configuration on CUCM. First we need to configure the S32, S323 gateway. It's already configured so let's use this. Use this. Make sure the significant digits are 4. It means it will CUCM will accept only the last four digits. And then save. Go in the route pattern and check. See, I have already configured all the patterns. It is important to make all the route patterns here and also on the Cisco router gateway. You can see in the route list there is SIP trunk selected. So we have to change this. And add a route group for S323 gateway. Your call cannot be completed you can see the call is Please not connecting you. so there is one command missing which is no digit strip so check the running config and the section is Select the section dial here. It will show you the list of all the dial pairs. You can see I have not specified the no digit strip command. That's why it stripped off all the explicitly defined digits we need to do it in all the three commands and one thing you should keep in mind that this no digit strip command can only run in the port style pair Now try again. Nine nine one one. See here you can check. I have uh, on the term. I have typed the command terminal monitor and also the debug. ISDN Q931 command so it will show you all the steps 
working in layer 3. You can see here the calling party number is 4082011001 and the called party number is 911. Okay friends, we are done with the configuration on both the router and CUCM. Thanks for watching my video. Bye.